right then, hello and welcome to another one-off. Today we're having a look at Drift Racing Rally. Made by the same devs that brought us the uh, Horse Racing Rally, um, this is even more minimalistic than that game. You can't accelerate, you can't brake, all you can do is left click. We'll get into that in a second. Um, also, we're starting on level 3 because I did test this to make sure it all worked, and uh, there's no way of actually reverting back your old save data to start at the uh, very beginning. So. Uh, yeah, we're starting on level three. The tutorial is literally one corner or two corners and it tells you to left click. That is it. That is the extent of the uh, tutorial. So uh, yeah, we're just going to do a couple of levels on this uh, because it is very bare bones. This is uh, it hasn't got too bad uh, reviews on Steam though. Um, but again, it's, it's most of these games are just made for kids anyway. So uh, yeah, let's have a look then. Level three. And we've got 60 seconds on the clock, and you literally have to left click to drift, and then release left click when you're done. <laughs> that is it. That is all you have to do. There is nothing else to do on this game. Like I said, you can't accelerate, you can't brake, uh, you can't steer the car, it does it all for you. And, uh, what more is there to say, really? Um, so your position determine, or your position is predetermined. And there we go, another perfect drift, and we win. Simple as that. So, uh, yeah, me, Styles, Dan Cage, and Gelden. Uh, yeah, you can't even select a level on the uh, little map there, so. Oh, well. Anyway, let's get on then. Stage four. Another perfect drift. And we're slow mo flying over the plane, which doesn't really work. And literally just hold left click to drift. And that is it. Everything else is all done for you. It's like a conveyor belt. Only a really, really badly made one. Oh, and that is it. There we go. We get the victory again. Oh, surprise, surprise. We win. Yeah, because it's, it, you always win. You cannot lose at all. As far as I know, anyway. Uh, you, could, you could lose, but probably can't. And off we go again. Yeah, you can, you can tell that these games, they will get very, very stale very, very quickly. Um, unless you have the attention span of a goldfish or that of a young child, which is what these games are made for. Uh, yeah, you're not going to get any joy out of this whatsoever. And uh, the reason I play these games is that you don't have to. I am <laughs> I am putting myself through all this. Oh, I've had an incomplete drift. Uh, but that's alright, I still won anyway, it doesn't matter. It honestly does not matter if we get an incomplete drift or not. Uh, now, there is uh, 32 levels on this one, I think we're only going to go up to about level 12. Or, oh. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens as well when you do hold the handbrake uh, before a drift zone. <laughs> oh god, this is fun. Not. Anyway, off we go. And drift it again. And they're using the same stock bloody music as the uh, the other games as well. And another perfect drift, and again. Now this, these type of games sort of remind me of the idle clicker games, only you don't idle and it's not a clicker game, it's it's just there, it's just something that exists. Oh, oh, oh tried to catch us off guard there with the uh, quick drift at the start. And left click again. And we're done with another perfect drift and left click again. I... What happened there? Did someone just go flying off into the distance there? And another left click to drift, and again we're perfect, and we win the race. Ah, uh, who'd have thought? Okay, level 8. Ready, and go. Isn't this exciting, children? Yeah, I thought you would. I mean, look at... <laughs> That is just so badly done. Now, these are probably just, um, literally, I think these are built to be meme games. That is all they are. 
And we get another victory. Like I said, you cannot lose. It is impossible to lose. So we'll go again. And away we go. The sense of speed is unparalleled. Oh, that's what was flying through the air. It was bloody cones. Now, we're getting coins as well. For going into each cone, we're getting coins. But as far as I'm aware, you cannot upgrade or buy anything. So I haven't got a clue what the actual coins are for. However, I do like the little top-down map on the right-hand side when you do actually do a drift. That's pretty snazzy, I suppose. Okay, level... what's this? 10? And away we go again. It's snail's pace. Hold click to drift, and the cones are going flying. Oh, will we make it up into second place? Oh, just about. Yeah, there we go, up into second. <gasps> the leader's pulling away. Oh, it's all right. Oh, he's slow on the uh, inside. We're going to take the outside and uh, win the race again. Yep. Yep, that is what this game consists of. Let's go again. And away we go. Oh, we're going through walls now. Mixing it up a little bit. And we'll go again. Now, the speed that the cars are actually going, it would be impossible to drift anything. You would just come to a dead stop and a handbrake would be on. You're just parking the car in that bloody instance. And we win the race again by a nose. Wow. I've never been so lucky in my life by winning every single race. Let's go again. Oh, we're all going to go over a jump this time and into a wall. And no, we're actually going to go over the wall. And drifting again. At a rate of about three miles an hour. I don't think these are actual cars. I think they're just shopping trolleys with a body built around them because they, they handle about the same as shopping trolleys, really. Or shopping carts, depending on where in the world you are. Uh, so yeah, we win again. Level 13. Here we go. Oh, we're in a pink machine this time. Awesome. Right. And the cones are going flying. Oh, we're, we're losing the lead. He's morphed through the building. He's probably killed someone inside. A perfect drift. The score and points don't do a damn thing. And another perfect entry. And another non-perfect drift, actually. I don't know why there's a sparkler under next either. That is very, very odd. But it's fine. Right, level 14. I think we'll go up to 20 level. We'll go up to level 20. I'm not going to do the whole thing. It depends how, how much time we're going to be losing or or uh, using up for this uh, video. I want to keep them fairly short for these one-offs. Oh, we seem to be losing ground. He's going to go through the wall. Oh, he's just morphed through one of the barriers. Oh, a new change of scenery. We've gone into the desert. Operation Desert Storm Drift Style. Bloody hell. And another victory. Wow. Okay. Uh, level 15, actually. You know what? I think we could do all 32 levels, you know. We're only... It's only been going for like 8 minutes. So I think uh, in 16 minutes, we'll have the entire game complete. Which would be awesome. It'll be a one-off and uh, it'll be added to the complete section. Not. Now, uh... I'm not sure if it is possible to drift in sand. If you have uh, any knowledge on drifting and have drifted in sand, let me know. Even though you probably haven't. You just come to a dead stop, especially if the car is going this slow. And another perfect drift. And oh, by an, a nose hair whisker, we get another victory. Right, level 16. We're at an airport. How fascinating go also i don't know why they have a timer at the top of the screen that is very superfluous because it doesn't do bugger all what is the point in having a timer when it's all set in stone when you're gonna finish a bloody drift course or when you're gonna start it it doesn't make any sense 
Oh, I know what this reminds me of. When you see these, like, uh, stop-go animations uh, of, like, a NASCAR race or something, it's just literally, uh, yeah, stopping a, a little slideshow animation thing. That's what it reminds me of, how it's so janky. Anyway, we're in car 99 now, it seems. And away we go. A perfect entry. Perfect exit. And another perfect entry. And another perfect entry. Okay, we, we stopped. The car got grounded on the, uh, the little slope there, and that was it. Another victory. I... Again, if there is any way of, like, using the points, then that'll be great, but I don't think there is. Oh, well. Here we go again. Perfect drift. And another perfect entry, and another perfect drift. I think this game is, is literally my first drifting game. And there we go, another victory. Oh, we didn't win by much that time. 11.27 to 11... 11... Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. I know, it's time remaining, but oh well. Right, Drift Zone 19. So we got uh, 13 more to go. Perfect entry. Oh, look at that. Points galore, that do nothing. We're actually picking up a bit of speed this time, though. Perfect drift, and again, and a perfect drift, and again, perfect entry, and a perfect drift, wonder bar, right, level 20, please, get on with it, ready, steady, go, so, uh, yeah, this game is not only pretty monotonous. It's impossible to lose. The points don't win you any prizes because the points are pointless, quite literally. And uh, yeah, the, the AI seem to have the screaming abdabs and don't know what the hell they're doing most of the time. That was level 20. Maybe if maybe if anyone's done a speed run of this game, maybe I'll be the first and I can get like a, a speed run world record. Let's see if we can get a uh, a uh, sub-20 minutes world record for this. <gasps> We're jumping on a boat with a very, very hard left-hander, which wouldn't make any damn sense. He missed the drift line completely. And we get another victory. Okay, next. I'm looking at my little timer at the moment. We're uh, 13 minutes in. And another perfect drift. Oh, it's my teammate. He's in the same car. Bugger off. Oh, incomplete drift. Boo. Does that make you fail the stage? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference if you fail the drift or not. Because we're going to sneak by on the inside, get a perfect drift, and win the race. Hooray. Level 23, so we've got nine more to go. Oh, and that car was floating there for a second. That's fine. I think it's actually more enjoyable just looking at the cones flying about all over the place. Oh, we're jumping back on the ship again. Uh, a ship that looks more like a golf course. Oh, we're miles behind now. We're never going to catch up. Oh, wait. Yes, we are. We're going to win. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Uh, level 24, it's a yacht. Are we going to jump over a yacht? And away we go. Needless to say, when this game is complete and I'm done with it, um, I'll be removing it off my Steam library. Because, uh, yeah. I'm just very, very thankful. They they were kind enough, you know, the devs were kind enough to give me the keys for these games to try them out, test them out. 
And that's what I'm doing. I'm just giving my uh, my personal opinion that these games are utter tripe. To say the very least. Off we go in the <laughs> What on earth? Perfect drifts. Hey, the car is in like fifth gear now. He's changing gear every few seconds, so I think he's got like 20 gears in the gearbox. Perfect drift. And again, a perfect drift. I reckon, you know, I'm going to predict we're going to win by about a nose. We're going to take the lead on the final corner and win the race. Yep, there we go. Just as I predicted. How do I know? I am psychic. That is how I know. Anyway, we're in the desert now. We're in, uh, I don't know, the Grand Canyon or something. And the cones are going flying. Oh, there's a cactus there. Be careful not to go into that. Over the train! Oh, cool. It's a train from uh, Back to the Future. Where's, uh, where's Doc and Marty? Drift end, and oh, we're gonna win. Yay. Level 27. Only a handful to go. And go. I was hoping they were gonna have like a, a snow level in here as well at some point. But no, it is not the case. See, you don't have to be perfect. You can, like, start drifting before... Oh, and I crashed a car. <gasps> oh, no. We didn't go in the drift zone. Oh, well. Let's try that again, shall we? Even the crash is a lackluster. It's like they don't want to crash. It's sort of like, no, don't. It's, it's scary. No. It's like, oh, go on then. But uh, fear not, we still got another game of uh, this dev's catalog to, to go through eventually. It's that Formula Car racing thing. And we're going to win. Who'd have thought? Next. 28, please. Let's get on with it. 60 seconds on the clock. Not going to need them. Lovely. Perfect drift. And again... Cones are going flying. Perfect drift. Of course. And again, let's get a perfect drift. And um, we're going to win by a cat's nose hair. Oh, there are more than 32 levels. Okay. It only said 32 levels on the actual, uh, in the game files. Oh, we didn't drift. Oh, well. Didn't get a perfect drift. It's alright. I don't really care. I just want to get this finished. Oh, at least we're picking up speed now. Look at this. Gotta go fast. Sonic style. Sonic after he's binged on like uh, 20 Big Mac meals. One of them. Level 30. Are we going to be racing a train? Or something? Nah. Nothing that exciting would actually happen on this game. Alright. Alright. Driving along at the speed of smell. Well, this is uh, enthralling. So I've never actually played a game where it's made me physically tired. Just from boredom. My eyes are actually stinging from... from I wouldn't say playing this game. You're not actually playing anything. You're just holding down the left clicker occasionally. And now we're back here again. Oh, so does the game just loop? Forever and ever and ever or what? I think it probably will. Okay, well, yeah, I don't want to really carry on playing this. It seems to be repeating and repeating and repeating, so... That was uh, Drift Racing Rally, which was... <sighs> Monotony isn't even a word I'd use to describe it, to be honest. That was just utter boredom, really. That was boredom in game form. Anyway, I will leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching. 
as always, and I will see you next time for another one-off. So uh, yeah, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then.